Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Glad to have everyone here. And last night I did the top 50 women's brands of clothing, which you guys wanted all in one spot. Uh, I'll put the link to that video down below if you want to check it out with all my other stuff that's down below in the description box. Uh, but today is the 50 top men's brands of clothing, and there is a few brands that are specific to the items that that brand sells, but you guys will see that as we go along. I'm going to jump over to my computer and we'll get going on these 50 brands and uh, they're going to be everything from workout to high-end designer to everyday mall brands. So let's take a look guys. Hopefully you can use this list when you're outsourcing next time. Make a note in your phone, add it to your notepad with this list of brands and the next time you are out buying inventory for eBay, you will know what brands to keep an eye out for. Okay, here we are on my screen, and the first ones I'm going to start with are going to be the high-end designer brands. You may or may not ever see these out. I've only seen you know these brands a couple of times, but if you do see them and you know how to tell the real ones from the fake ones, these can be big scores for you if you can get them at good prices. Uh, Burberry, the first one, um, obviously a very expensive brand. Um, I own some swimming trunks from this. Kate's uh, kind of a fan of Burberry. She has a few items from the store. Um, but things can get really pricey at Burberry. Uh, here's some examples of some just button down shirts that are 200 bucks, 195 bucks. Um, so not really things that people own a lot of unless you're very well off. They're dress shirts, again, $200. Uh, if you're looking for these out in the wild, out at thrift stores or Salvation Armies or wherever you find them, and, uh, and you're looking to get like a used price on something like this, probably about half the price. You could probably sell these used button downs for like 80 bucks, 60 bucks. Uh, you know, upwards to $100. So um, you have room to play with when you're buying them, but just do some research on the comps and uh, and you'll figure out, you know, kind of where each brand's price trends go. Um, the next one would be Armani, which there's a couple different Armanis. There's uh, Emporio Armani. There's Armani Exchange. Um, I'm on the Emporio Armani site, which is kind of the higher end one. Um, if we go... Um, you know, there's regular Giorgio Armani, which is just your standard Armani, Armani Exchange, and then Emporio Armani. There's three. Um, if we come in here to just like the regular Emporio Armani here and we go to like shirts, I'll give you a good idea what kind of price they charge. So like a jersey shirt, 375 325 They're even more than Burberry. Uh, Emporio Armani, very expensive, but even the regular Armani, Armani Exchange will sell well. Um, but you can do some research on all styles of Armani and get an idea of what they're worth. So that's number two. Let's go to number three, which is Versace. I showed you guys this in the women's section yesterday. Uh, Versace is kind of a weird brand. Uh, Versace, obviously uh, Gianni Versace has been dead for a number of years. Um, his sister, Donatella Versace, runs the brand now. I think a lot of these clothes are still based off of his designs. Um, and it's got that that notable logo, which is like that, I think it's like what a lion's head or something. Um, but you can always tell the Versace logo and that logo is made correct. Um, if it's real. So learn your, learn your Versace, learn how to tell and, uh, you'll be that much better off. There's Donatella right there in that picture. Um, let's look at like some of the clothing and I'll show you guys just how expensive Versace is. Here he goes like a polo 347. That leather jacket is four grand. Um, a cotton Jersey t-shirt, almost 500 bucks, 487. So Versace, if it's real, very expensive. Keep an eye out for it. Okay, so the next one is going to be uh, Giovince Paris. I think it's it's pronounced Giovince. Uh, again, European, French uh, design. Um, very weird. Things like this are, are just very expensive. Um, they don't give prices here on their website necessarily, but I'll give you an idea. Like a sweater like this with the Giovince logo looking thing. Probably an eight hundred thousand dollar sweater. Shirts are probably in that four or five hundred dollar range. Um, pair of shoes I saw Casey Neistat wearing were like two thousand bucks. So um, keep an eye out for Giovenche. If it's real, learn how to tell. Again, it's a it's a well faked brand. I sold a necktie that was real Giovenche. I think I got forty for it. Used necktie. Um, I think brand new retail it was probably like two hundred bucks for the necktie. So um, their brand very expensive again. All right, moving on to the next one, uh, Graham, which is a very popular shirt. I like Robert Graham shirts. I actually own one. Um, I won't spend this kind of money on shirts regularly. I do own one just because uh, I got a deal on it and because I really liked it. 
Um, typically, their dress shirts are 150 to $200. Um, they are more than even like the Garo or the Pronto Umo from uh, Men's Warehouse that are like 100 Robert Graham is, is a step up from that, you know, 150 to $200 shirts. Um, you can occasionally find some of the plain ones for $59.99. Uh, this Esquire dress shirt is not bad, $59.99. So you can get them for $60 and $80. Uh, not often, but, but they usually have a few on sale. So, But Robert Graham shirts used um, typically at least $30 or $40, almost always closer to $50 or $60 um, for the used ones. So good shirt to look for. All right, next we're going to go to Ferragamo. I put Ferragamo in here at Salvatore Ferragamo because um, they're a hugely popular men's shoe brand. Uh, my computer's loading slow. Loading slow. I apologize. Um, their wingtip shoes are really popular. Their slip-ons, their derbies. Um, I've never owned any of these, but everyone that does own them says they're ridiculously comfortable. So uh, I'll go with that. You know, the shoes range from 500 to 1,000. Most of them are around that 600, 660. You know, there's some that are over a thousand, but you can see these wingtip derbies here are 630. So very expensive brand. If you ever come across them, uh, you know, at shoe sales or outlets or whatever it is, definitely a brand to keep an eye out for. He has other things, of course. He has women's and children and and, and other stuff, but the men's shoes are what really uh, Ferragamo is known for. All right, we'll go to the next one. We'll close Ferragamo out here. And next brand we're going to get is Bugatti. And this shirt has been in my videos probably four or five times I found these. They are a mid to high end shirt designer. Um, they're not going to cost you four or five hundred bucks for a shirt, but typically their prices are over a hundred. Here they are on sale for 83, 129, 129, 129. So they are expensive. Uh, the ones I have sold used on eBay have gone for around 30 to 40 dollars. So um, about 25% of the value brand new is what retail is what you will get on the used market. So always keep an eye out for those shirts. Um, I think I still own, I had one of these I own personally. I think I still do. Uh, I haven't worn it in a while, but they hold up really well too. Okay. Next, my personal favorite brand to sell Tommy Bahama. Um, the more unique the design on Tommy Bahama, the more you will sell it for. If it has floral, if it has, you know, cool graphics with martini glasses, you're going to sell it. Um, here are their button downs. You can see Tommy Bahama, again, that $100 to $150 range for almost all of their shirts. Um, that is brand new. Obviously used, you're going to be lucky to get half of that. There are some people that get $30 or $40 for used Tommy Bahamas. Most of mine average around $20 to $25. Um, I really think Tommy Bahama should sell for more. They have good board shorts that you can get 20, 25 bucks out of. They have good women's clothes as well. People don't realize Tommy Bahama has some good women's clothes as well. So uh, their swimwear, their swimming trunks I have sold in the past. So all good things to keep an eye out for. Tommy Bahama, just a great brand all around. Not a home run, but consistent sellers. A brand that a lot of people don't know about is called Positano Italy. Um, I have sold in the last few months, I have sold at least five or six of these shirts. This vintage Positano silver disco shirt, I sold almost that identical shirt for $39.99 um, on eBay. Mm -hmm. They are kind of unique club disco retro type shirts. If you can get the retro-y looking ones, they're worth a lot more. These paisley ones, eh, a little bit. But these metallic ones, these vintage 70s, 80s metallic ones are what you really want to look for. Um, here's a Positano ribbed one. Somebody put it up for 17 but it's probably worth more than that. I almost could buy that and flip it. But I was getting about 30 to 40 for most of them. So Positano, uh, I find them pretty often. I, like I said, in the last few months, I've sold five or six of them. All right, this is a men's warehouse brand. Uh, this is Pronto Umo. Uh, men's warehouse sells this throughout their store. And again, I apologize. My computer's taking a minute to load here. Most of the shirts are around 35 to 55, brand new. Some of them are up to 70 and 80. Um, used... They're probably 20 bucks all day long. 20, 19.99, 20. Just there's something that's pretty common and if you can get them for less than like say 2, 3, 4 bucks, then they're worth buying, selling for 20 and making yourself like 12 to 14 dollars in profit. Cuz if you're getting 20 and you're buying them for 3, you're at 17 and after you pay the fees and shipping, you can make yourself like 12 or 13, you know. So, they're pretty bread and buttery type shirts. 
Um, another brand that I like to buy will be the next one. This one is called Basiri Umo. And uh, I don't know if they have anything in common, but I sell these button down, short sleeve and long sleeve. 30 bucks, almost every one I've ever sold. They have some very unique looks to them. You can see it here. Um, and they're not sold in Men's Warehouse, but they're sold in uh, some stores and then directly online. But here it is, Basiri, Basiri Umo. Uh, put that in your phone. All right, we're going to keep moving along here. Diesel, this is a brand that's going to be jean specific. You're really going to look for the jeans. Obviously, their shirts still sell. Some of their t-shirts are 60 and 80 bucks. So if you can find them, sell them. Their jeans are where the bread and butter money is. Their jeans are $200 plus jeans. Um, in some cases, $300. So if you can find you know, a lot of their jeans. Here you go. Here's a perfect example. 160 bucks, 140 for women's. Um, there's literally like jeans that go all the way up to 300. So if you see these, if you can tell how they're real, uh, I think there's a whole website dedicated to diesel fake jeans. Um, you could definitely buy them. Here you go, 250, 170, 250, 280, 350. So very expensive jeans and uh, you know easily $50 plus uh, on the used market in most cases. Um, I'm gonna stick with the jean theme here. The next brand, you guys know this one, Seven for All Mankind. Please note it's different than Seven Jeans, two different brands. Seven for All Mankind is a very high end, um, 200, you know, 150, $200 jean. Um, seven Jeans are much, much cheaper, half that or a quarter of that at least. You want the Seven for All Mankind and you want the good stitching, the good buttons, the good everything. Please look them up. This is probably the one I see faked the most. Um, I think Jason at Prof Sales came across a fake pair that's in one of his videos. It was really bad. Thankfully, he was able to tell right away. Um, again, with the jean brand, uh, True Religion, I um, think most of you are familiar with True Religion. They're $200, $250, $300 jeans. Um, they have the Buddha and the horseshoe as a uh, logo on the, the butt of them, usually on the pockets, uh, on the inside, on the tags. Um, also, they do shirts and they do you know, tops and things like that. They also, I think, have jean shorts. Um, so you can look for those other clothes, but the jeans are what stands out. You know, 329, 369, you're talking about jeans that are gonna be, you know, 50 to 100 bucks on the used market in most cases. So there's your true religion. There is like your your horseshoe, and some of them have the Buddha, some of them don't, but um, you'll learn, you know, there's websites again about true religion and, and being able to decipher the fake ones from the real ones. All right, we're going to move off of those brands. We're going to go to Hugo Boss, which is a very yeah, – Hugo Boss is old school, but they're still very high end. And if we come over here and we go to the menswear and we come to like the uh, – let's go to the polo shirts. Hugo Boss polo shirts do very well. I've sold a couple of them. Um, you know, some of these polos still in their store are $100, $125. I sold a Hugo Boss polo shirt, just a plain one. I think it was – like a gray color, uh, extra large. I think I got 40 bucks for it. So definitely look for Hugo Boss. Different from the regular. Just th know that Hugo Boss is its own brand and uh, just learn the logo, learn how to tell. I could do entire videos on how to tell fake stuff. Um, Ralph Lauren, obviously one of the biggest brands in the world. You guys know Ralph Lauren. Legitimate Ralph Lauren is an expensive brand to this day. Um, you know, the newer it is, the more expensive it is. Uh, you just got to look up similars. Um, if they've got these big polo horse designs on them, they can be expensive. If they're kind of plain, don't expect a lot out of them. But if they've got good graphics, you can definitely sell them. Um, polo Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren Polo, whatever you want to call it, is a hit or miss brand. But it is definitely worth putting at the top here on this list because I see it every day. Uh, oh, yeah, one of the brands that I miss for jeans is Nudie Jeans. Uh, Prof Sales, again, did a great video uh, about these where he found his first pair out at a thrift store. I want to say he got it at Salvation Army. Um, this is listed in Canadian dollars, I believe. They're about 250 which gives you a good idea how much they are. Nudie Jeans are not very common. Chances are you won't see very many. Um, feel free to do your research on any of these brands uh, afterwards. But Nudie Jeans are ones I've never seen. But Jason says they sell amazing. My research on the comps, they do sell incredibly well. Um, look them up on eBay. That's all I can say. All right, this brand was recommended by Luke, the Endless Entrepreneur. It's cool, I believe. And they are an outdoor 
um, camping, fisher, kind of outdoor button down, uh, heavy, you know, cold weather shirt kind of company and, and just outerwear in general. Some of their stuff is upwards of a hundred dollars. Um, you can see a lot of this, the downhill racer, 135, 89, 85. Looks like a lot of it's between 75 and a hundred, some of it over a hundred, but he says their brands sell really good. I have never bought and sold this, but I added it to my list and I'm going to be looking for this brand from now on. All right. Vineyard Vines. This is literally, they call themselves the preppy, uh, clothes company. Uh, obviously they're from up North out in the Northeast. <clears throat> Most of their shirts are 80, 90, a hundred bucks. A lot of dress shirts. They have this very notable whale as their logo. Uh, the polos do very good. 29 99 on polos is pretty much a set price that I get for all mine. So you can, you know, obviously keep an eye out for all of Vineyard Vines. Uh, button downs you can look for their floral and fish designs you can look for their plain polos their graphic polos all that kind of stuff will sell vineyard vines always sells the the brand does amazing all right moving along sticking with that outdoor theme here we're going to go to columbia which is one of my favorites the vented fishing shirts are really good uh, some of those shirts can be upwards of 50 to 100 dollars on their website they have shorts they have pants columbia does shoes hats Everything Columbia, here's a good, you know, Tammy Ammy vintage shirt. This shirt is uh, $45 on the website. Used, you could probably sell it for about $19.99. Um, so if you can get these for a few bucks, definitely keep an eye out for everything Columbia. Their jackets are also expensive. They're, they're well-made. Um, $125, $129, $200 bucks can do well on those. Guy Harvey, uh, those of you that don't know Guy Harvey fishing, uh, I, I believe he lives in the Caribbean. He does... Uh, outdoor education he does conservation he does fishing he created a clothesline and uh all of his clothes have fishing and he customizes them swordfish sailfish marlin the whole sh you know nine yards puts his name guy harvey on all of them most of the shirts are 40 50 bucks brand new on the used market they're only about 15 dollars you know 10 to 15 depending um don't pay more than a couple bucks a dollar two dollars up to three dollars for these shirts anything more than that bad news the hoodies the hoodies do great with graphics this is kind of a Florida brand. It's called Real Legends. Now, I know it's everywhere, and I sell a little bit of it. We have a store here called Bells Florida. There's the website, and they stock Real Legends very cheap. These are $13 to $20 shirts. The reason they do good is because Bells is here in Florida, and the Real Legends stuff outside of eBay is not the easiest thing to get. So if you can get it and you can put it on eBay, even used, people are interested in getting it. They'll go there and buy it. So Real Legends. It's a fishing type shirt. Um, Nike, obviously one of the biggest brands in the entire world. Uh, all of their workout gear, um, their compression pants, shirts, you know, their breathable shirts, uh, dry fit stuff. Um, the Flyblade shirt is $90, brand new. If you can get one, you know, sell it for 30, 40 used. All the basketball, um, long sleeve, short sleeve, all that stuff, their shoes, just everything Nike is almost always sellable for something. So there you go. Nike, one of the biggest brands in the world. Uh, the Adidas page looks like it didn't load. So let's refresh the Adidas page. Adidas, again, one of the largest workout and sporting goods um, companies in the entire world. Probably not as big as Nike, but pretty close. Um, anything from you know jackets, t-shirts, and hoodies to shoes to work out, compression clothes, all that stuff. Looks like Adidas' website is having some issues. You guys know the Adidas brand, the three white uh, stripes, and pretty much all of their stuff will sell very good. I'm going to go ahead and close it because it's not working. Under Armour, smaller than Adidas and Nike, but still a monster in its own right. Um, all of their workout, dry fit, compression, again, same line as Nike and um, Adidas, but they're going to be a little cheaper on their own brand. All right, moving on, J. Crew. This is a uh, uh, company that you guys are all familiar with. I sell a lot of girls' J. Crew, but people also sell J. Crew stuff for men like No Tomorrow. Mid range price, most of their shirts, 40, 50, 60 bucks. I own a few J. Crew shirts. Um, the graphics matter, obviously. With graphics, you can typically get uh, a little bit more money depending on the content of the graphics. But J. Crew has shorts, J. Crew has tops, J. Crew has pants, if I believe, if I'm reminded right. Uh, they also, like I said, they have girls, women's, and uh, and kids stuff. So J. Crew, a good brand. Um, not high, high end, so don't go crazy buying them, but good brand to buy. 
Peter Millar specializes in dress clothing, dress shirts. They're expensive. They're $100, they're $200, they're $300. Peter Millar is very well known. They also do polos. I'll show you a few of their polos here. I've only ever sold one Peter Millar item in my entire life. Uh, their polos are $125, $135. Paisley shirts from Peter Millar do awesome. Um, keep an eye out for his brand, 100%. All right, our favorite outdoor store, Patagonia, and they have everything from sweaters and hoodies to vests and jackets, shorts, you name it, they sell it, shirts. Uh, they're not cheap, but they are like amazingly well-made. Um, everybody raves about Patagonia's quality. Here's a hoodie, 119 bucks. Um, and the brand is completely one of the most popular brands on eBay. As soon as you list it, it's sold. I can't hold on to anything Patagonia. I think we may have one Patagonia item in our store. We've had it for a few days and I imagine it will sell this weekend. I priced it really high though. This is another men's warehouse brand. It's Igara. I own probably 10 of these shirts. Um, they're typically anywhere from 40 up to about 60 or 80 bucks at the store per shirt. Um, these are all the sale items on 40. If you don't get them on sale, then you're going to be paying probably 60 to $80. Uh, some of them go as high as a hundred. So if you can find the good styles and the, you know, the better looking, um, cuffs and the necklines, those will almost always sell for, you know, more than the regular ones. Probably going to look at the regular ones selling for 15 to 19, the better ones selling for about 20 to 30. And that'll give you a good idea what to pay for them. It looks like all the ones that are on sale on the website right now are all $40, which kind of hurts the resale value. But um, they still sell. They're popular. So look for them. Uh, Lacoste, this is one I sell pretty much primarily just polos. They run anywhere from $60 to $100 retail. They're $20, $25 on eBay. Almost always I get offers of $19.99 or $20 or $21 for them, and I sell them. Typically I'll pay like 2 bucks, 3 bucks for them at a Salvation Army. Lacoste has the alligator. The alligator is faked. He should be crisp. He should be next to the word Lacoste in almost every... Um, every instance, sometimes it's under, but, uh, the alligator should have clean, clear, non-pixelated logos. There's a few other ways to tell us, uh, also, but I've learned Lacoste pretty well. I can, I can almost spot a fake Lacoste just by the logo. Timberland, a brand that, you know, is downhill. Not a lot of people are still into it, but it still sells and I still buy it. Some people avoid it, but I buy Timberland. I sell it, and Timberland is just a polo, t-shirt, outdoor shirt type of uh, brand. It's obviously very old school. It became really popular with the rappers probably 10, 15 years ago, and uh, it went downhill for a while. It still sells for me. All right, Harley Davidson, popular with the ladies and, of course, popular with the guys. Anything biker, motorcycle, Harley, it's all going to sell. The more graphics, the more unique, uh, the more unique of the location it's from. You can sell Harley all day long. And it sells. It does not sit. All right. Thomas Dean is another dress shirt company. You may not come across this often. I've only sold one in my life. We have one in stock right now in my store. It's up for like 30 bucks. Um, these shirts are 110, 120. It's just a basic dress shirt, but they're very well made and they're not cheap. And it's a popular brand. Um, the one I have in my store right now has been up for a while. So I may end up dropping it to 25. Um, the used ones, 20 to 30 bucks is pretty much right on point for them. Guess, a mall brand. I wear Guess a lot. You've probably seen me in Guess shirts. I think I'm in a Guess shirt right now, actually. Um, not expensive. You know, the V-necks, the regular t-shirts in the store are only 20, $25, but they still sell used for 12 to 15. The more, you know, again, unique the design, the more unique the style, the better you can get for it. Here's one that sells for 44 retail. That's probably something you could sell used for like 18 bucks. Express, another mall brand. Um, I like Express shirts. Uh, they're typically between, you know, 30 and $40, just depends. Uh, if it's a basic tee, you can buy them for 25. Um, but, you know, like this small lion logo V-neck is $30, which is about what it is at the mall. Um, buy one, get one 50% off. So then you'd be paying 45 for two. So you're only at 2250 for them. So don't expect a big payday on the used market, but they're quick sellers. Brooks Brothers, huge, huge men's dress company, um, dress shirts, polos, uh, fleeces, you name it, they've got it, ties, everything. Um, they're not cheap. They're not overly priced, but they're not cheap. Here's shirts that are 90, 
120. Uh, they have plenty of shirts in the 60, 70, 80 dollar range. These are just on the website. 185. Whew. So they do have some expensive ones, but they also have some reasonably priced stuff. Brooks Brothers is slow for me. I avoid it, but I know a lot of people have a lot of success with Brooks Brothers. Uh, I've sold quite a few ties of theirs over the years. Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, obviously another mall brand. Um, I don't own any Abercrombie, but it sells well. I grab it if it's a dollar or two. This is not your home run brand either. Abercrombie went downhill for a while, so still worth getting. It's probably better than Hollister and American Eagle, but it's not going to be a knockout. Brioni, this is a high, high end uh, dress shirt company. Here's some, look, 550 bucks for dress shirts on their website. Good Lord, 595, 550. Uh, $4.95. I have never found one of these. I know the brand personally. Uh, their shirts are supposed to last a lifetime. I'd love to own one, but I'm not paying six, seven, eight hundred bucks for a shirt. Um, just not going to happen. I think their polos are about half that much. Let's click on it and see. Yeah, the cashmere polo for twelve hundred. There's a polo seven, polos for nine. So they're even more expensive. Jeez, three. There they are. Three seventy-five, two seventy-five, nine fifty. It's cashmere, I assume. Very, very high-end expensive brand. If you ever see this, don't hesitate. Get it. Have it checked out. Take a chance on it. It's a fortune. On the used market, I have no clue what these sell for, but probably in the 100 plus, um, depending on what you got. Uh, I would love to own these shirts. Everything I've read online about them is that they feel amazing and they last a lifetime. All right, Calvin Klein, not a high-end brand. I do not like Calvin Klein. I have never had luck with these. A few people on my Instagram said that they buy and sell these consistently. Whenever they see them, they pay a buck, they pay two bucks, and they sell. So something you may want to keep an eye out for. Next is Silver Jeans, another jean company. These come from Men's Warehouse and also other places. I own and I am wearing a pair right now. I own about three or four of these from Men's Warehouse. Uh, they're about $120 a pair. Uh, two of them I paid full price for. Two of them I got buy one half off. So... I do kind of wait for the deals for these if I can. 120 bucks is a lot of money for jeans. Um, I tend to buy two or three pair of jeans at a time, so I'm not looking to spend three or 400 bucks. If I get them at the half off price, you know, then that's better. Um, but on the used market, they're about $30 jeans, $40. I've never bought them off eBay. I considered it, but I typically don't buy clothing off eBay because I like to try stuff on. So um, silver jeans, Men's Warehouse uh, sells them. They sell, you know, they have their own website, but Men's Warehouse is a huge seller of silver jeans. I would imagine they're the biggest seller. Um, our last designer is Hermes. It's uh, Paris, France, obviously. Here's a, a plain cotton poplin shirt, 530 bucks. Hermes is super high end, ridiculously expensive. Um, their polos are probably in the three, four, five hundred dollar range. There it is, 450, 425, just astronomically priced. Um, I have sold a Hermes tie for $45 used. So that gives you an idea. This is North Face, again, an outdoor company. Um, they've got everything from shirts and shorts up to hoodies. Um, North Face, I think, got started on their outdoor gear for like sweaters, hoodies, campers, hiking, cold weather. Um, but they, you know, they definitely tran transformed themselves into an entire collection of clothing. And they're not cheap. These regular shirts are 60, 65, 70 bucks. So that tells you on the used market, you're going to look at like 20, 25 for them. So always look for north face stuff the jackets as well their coats and jackets are incredible all right this is dior christian dior uh, i sell a lot of their ties excuse me i sell a lot of their plain shirts um their designer stuff is expensive like a couple hundred dollars expensive but you can get the stuff in the in the stores for like five dollars and flip it for like 30 or 40 um you know look up whatever it is you're buying from dior because some of their dior stuff sells for like dirt, dirt cheap. I have had ties that I can't give away for five and six dollars. I've had a polo from Dior that I couldn't give away for 20. Um, just be careful with it. But Dior can bring good profits with the right design, the right item. Our favorite Australian brand, Coogee. I have obviously sold a ton of Coogee. I have sold many, many of their shirts. I have sold jeans. I've sold jean shorts. I've sold a couple sweaters. The sweaters are what is expensive. The original Biggie OG, the original B.I.G., you know, Biggie Smalls inspired designs. Look at these, 600, 500, 750, 750. These things are crazy. The Coogee Silk button-up. People love these. 
The original sweaters still sell for two and three hundred bucks. So if you can find this brand with bright graphics, if it's plain, eh, kind of stay away. But if it's got these huge, bright, in-your-face graphics all day, every day for Kuji. Um, they've even got camo now. That's crazy. So keep an eye out. The beanies will sell. Everything Kuji will sell. Tommy Hilfiger, as old as all of us, uh, you know, the right stuff will sell. The right stuff doesn't. The vintage Tommy Hilfiger with the big flag is in right now, if you can find that stuff. The new age Tommy Hilfiger, uh, it just depends on what it is. Don't put a lot of money into it and don't, you know, go hunting for this stuff. If you see it, it looks good. Grab it if it's cheap. Otherwise, be careful. Uh, I don't know how to say this name. I've tried saying it a lot. It's Ermin Gildo Zegna. Ermin Il Gildo Zegna, I believe. Everyone calls it Zegna or Z. Uh, expensive dress shirts for guys. I've never owned them, never seen them. I've known about the brand. I've seen it on eBay. I have never actually bought and sold it, but everyone says that it does amazing, and it's another one of those brands that holds up a lifetime. It's well-made, so that kind of stuff, once people learn it, they buy it, and they stay loyal to that brand. So, um, you know, several hundred-dollar shirts are good for $50 to $100 on eBay. So something I'm always looking for, never found it. Ed Hardy, a brand, a brand that crashed and burned. It was popular, you know, five, seven, eight years ago. Uh, still expensive on the website. If you get ones with big, loud graphics on them, they will sell. I have put a few on my haul videos, and uh, and I've done decent with them. I've, I've made $15, $20 on some of those shirts. So, you know, the hoodies even more. A brand that most people don't know about. It's sold by Nordstrom's typically. Uh, this is uh, Gamelli, and you... You'll find these on and off, but their shirts are about eighty to hundred dollars, brand new. Their pants, their suits are you know six, seven, eight hundred. I see Gamelli once in a while. I've sold two Gamelli shirts on my eBay account in the last few months. They have been in haul videos and they have been in my what sold videos, and I was pretty excited when I got both of them. They were both bright, in your face, loud dress shirts, and I got like forty bucks a pop for them. So, Gamelli, guilt. Uh, G-I-L-T and also Gamelli, uh, both kind of, I think, intertwined brands, and they are really good to find. All right, last three, guys. American Eagle, mall brand, they sell for $10 to $15, uh, you know, 15 to 20 brand new, so you getting 10 or 12 on the used market is all you're going to get, but you will see American Eagle everywhere you go. If it's unique, you can get it for a dollar, grab it. This is Burton. Burton is... Um, a brand that you've probably never heard of. It's more for, it's geared towards skiers and snowboarders, outdoor people. They're very expensive shirts. These basic button downs are $50, $60. Uh, their hoodies are, you know, upwards of 70, some of them 80. Uh, here's some that were regular 75. Burton is really popular because it's not easy to get. And so snowboarders on eBay will buy it. I have sold their pants. You guys sold uh, the Foursquare brand of snowboard pants, anything skier or snowboarding related sells really good. And Burton is a, is a good top end brand. And I'll give you guys a bonus one, four square, four square snowboard pants. Look that up. Really good. I sold a pair for $50. And the last one is East St. Laurent. Uh, this one is a designer brand. You guys can see their jacket, 2,600. Um, here's a hoodie for seven, uh, a designer brand. I see East St. Laurent, uh, ties all the time. I've sold a couple. I believe we have a couple in stock at like 15 bucks right now. Um, I have sold one Yves Saint Laurent shirt, a basic tee. I got like 19.99 for it, which was probably like a 200 or 300 dollar t-shirt originally. Um, anyways, it's a brand to keep an eye out for. It is designer. Some of the stuff sells like crap. Just look up the one you're getting and make sure that you're finding a good comp for it. Um, anyways, guys, so that is the top 50 brands for men. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know it's a long video, but everyone wanted 50 brands right in the same spot, same as my woman's one. I'll link the woman's video down below if you didn't see it. Check it out, 50 other great brands for women. And uh, some of the brands were intermingled. There were some that appeared on both lists because they're good for men and women. So if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for other great videos, brands, top videos, everything that I put out um, on a daily basis. And I will see you guys next time.